friends, it's summer and welcome to Noonday Prayer. We are in the season of Advent and in our house that means that we read scripture and some other writings together and then we light candles. We light our Advent wreath candles. If you're new to Advent, then you may not know that the candles each represent a week of Advent season. So we start with the first one and we stay on that for a week until we get to the next Sunday. And then this, the next Sunday we light both of the candles and then as the week goes on we just stay on the one candle so we're not lighting up this huge huge um, wreath every every night. And then on Sundays it's special because we do light the previous week's candle and then the current week's candle. So as we go through the season we see time going with us. We see time passing. We see a week of Advent has passed two weeks of Advent have passed and this week we're on the third week of Advent so uh, Sunday we were able to light three candles and it's a beautiful way to just remind us that time is passing that we have to um, picture ourselves and where we are in time in the time continuum but also to think of the generations past and the generations in the future that will um, come to know God through his word through our lives and through of course his Holy Spirit so today our psalm talks a little bit about generations and it's a it's a great uh, encouragement to me during Advent to really think about generations generations before me and my spiritual family my children their children and so on those physical generations but also spiritual generations of people who have come to Christ um, because of perhaps my life uh, my words, my actions, um, and then those who come after them because of their life and their words and their actions and the power of the Holy Spirit. So let's get started today in Advent on Noonday Prayer. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 119, 89. Forever, O Lord, your word is firmly fixed in the heavens. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You have established the earth and it stands fast. By your appointment, they stand this day, for all things are your servants. If your law had not been my delight, I would have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have given me life. I am yours. Save me, for I have sought your precepts. The wicked lie in wait to destroy me, but I consider your testimonies. I have seen a limit to all perfection but your commandment is exceedingly broad. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 2 Corinthians 5 If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
Amen. Let us together offer intercessions in silence. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> I'm, in the, I'm in the real woods today. You can tell by my stomping around, but that's okay. I, I love that I am able to give you a piece of nature as you do your prayer time. Uh, I hope that if in any way the video is distracting, you will always just hit play, turn over, and listen to God's word read to you, for you, and with you. Um, if you go throughout your day and you find that you, um, you are using personal prayer all day, it's awesome to just once in a while stop and maybe say the Lord's Prayer. Just repeating the words of the Lord back to Him um, is a great way to kind of get out of our narcissism sometimes which um, a lot of prayer can become a narcissistic adventure as I pray about me and myself and I uh, and pray for what, the, what God wants in our life. So using the Lord's Prayer like we just did um, can sometimes pull us out of our uh, self-focus and onto God focus. So friends, I pray that as you move through Advent, you will find ways to move yourself aside and open up space for the Lord. And I pray that it will be fruitful in your life, both now and for generations to come. Amen.